Hey, bro, fucking, yeah, this camp's been a bit, like, fucked up. Yeah, so what, what happened to your arm, to your hand? I was, at, I was at the, I was on the train, um, I was, uh, I was finishing work, so I, I trained people, like, in the city, mm. and, and, and I, um, I take the train there, and then I, uh, I took the train back, and on the way back, I'm on the phone, um, talking, and this guy comes up to me, and he's like, he's like, hey, bro, are they undercovers over there? And I was like, what? I go, no, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Anyways, and I turn around and I'm, I'm, I continue talking on the phone. He taps me. He goes, he goes, bro, are there any undercovers there? I was like, bro, I just answered your fucking question, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know why you, you why are you still asking me. You know what I mean? Mm. And then, um, and then he goes, he goes, bro, I was just asking you a question. And I was like, yeah, all right, you asked me the question, cuz. That's it. Like, why are we still talking? And then he goes, do you think you own this land or something? And I was like, what? Took his bag off. He goes, "Why well, you want to go me, bro? I was like, what do you mean you want to? And then as I'm fucking tripping out, that he wants to even go me. You know the common area of the train where it's like a platform? I'm at the bottom of the stairs at the top. And bro, this kind of runs off that. Boom, straight in my eye. And bro, where it's where the train starts moving from Paramount to, to Westmead and we're fucking fighting on this train. Bro, he's on top of me going, bah, bah. We're just having a wrestle. I grabbed him, I tried to lift him up, I couldn't even fucking lift him up. And then I had his back and I was like, and he's like, if you let go, bro, I'll let go. Because I could I could sense like he was bitching it, you know? And then and then um and I was like, nah bro, I go, when I let go of these, when I let go of you, I'm gonna fuck you up. Alright? And then and I thought about it for a second. I go, bro, you know what? This is my time, bro. Like I've never had a street fight in my life, you know what? The whole the whole thing about this shit that's so, that's so like, that's so, um, that's like a big deal for me. I've never done this shit, you know, I don't want to, imagine like, you know, I'm an MMA fighter, yada, 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 all this, all that bullshit. And then bro, I get into a street fight and I get pumped by some fucking guy who's never even trained in his life. Like, these are all the little things that were going on in my head that made me really, really like doubt myself and doubt my ability because I had never experienced it. For me, an MMA fight and a street fight, like, it's kind of the same, like, experience, you know? You, you're having a go with someone, it's your fucking heart on the line against their heart on the line, and, you know, it is what it is, you leave, you leave it out there. Bro, my first fight was my, my first one-on-one -on -one was my first MMA fight at the Willem Center, where, where I just fought, you know? Like, that, that was my first fight ever, so, you know, doing that fight, whatever happening has hap happened, yeah. S imagine all that, all that fucking, that performance, that good performance, whatever. And I still, in my back of my head, thought, bro, am I really about it? Like, can I, am I, am I really about fighting? Like, you know, like, because I'll, I'll always buckle, like, in that, in that street situation, you know. I'll just buckle, I just think, oh, what if, what if. Like, I feel like if I got hit without a glove, I'll just drop straight away. Which kind of did, <laughs> which kind of did happen, but it was it was cause I can't see it. And look, all this really what it comes back down to is, bro, this experience for me, like just changed me as a fighter, changed me forever. You know, like, I, people just turn around and say, bro, it's just a punch on. You know, like get the fuck over. It's just a punch on. But it's not about that for me. For me, it was like a way of proving to myself that, bro, I can fucking pump anyone. Like, you know what I mean? This guy was a lot bigger than me, you know, this guy was like, probably to a lot of people, a scary cunt, you know? And I looked at this cunt straight in the eyes, and I said, I fucking love this shit, let's keep going. And when I did that, I saw that look in his face, where he wanted none of it, and then that's when I knocked him. And this is where I fucked up. When I knocked him on the floor, I fucking hit him right on the top of the head, and I felt my hand break straight away, bro. This is the second time I broke my hand. I, the first time I broke my hand was in one of my fights in the first round and I felt exactly the same. And when I did that, I'm just thinking, fuck, oh, my fight, bro, my fight. But you know what, bro? I'm doing this fight, I'm gonna do it with one arm, you know? And I just wanna show people like, fuck your excuses, like, you know? If, you're, if you wanna be different from everyone, if you wanna separate yourself from everyone, you know, you gotta fucking take that risk you gotta risk it for the biscuit. If that means that you're at a disadvantage, you gotta fucking risk it. You gotta put your body on the line. You know, this is war at the end of the day. This is something that I'm built to do. This is something that I'm here to do for, for until that chapter's closed. 
and I'm going to do it, you know, fucking with the pedal to the fucking metal, you know what I mean? Like, um, I just want to show all the other fighters, like, hey, bro, I'm fucking cracked. Like, I'm not normal. Like, this is, I live and breathe this shit. What's the point of coming to the gym every day, you know, and not fighting? Like, this is why I do it. So, last fight, cocksucker pulled out. This fight broke my fucking hand three weeks out. Like, bro, like, I can't let anything stop me anymore. I gotta fucking go for it. And that's what I did. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what's happening. That's what's up. That's what, that's all that's gonna happen, bro. And you know what? Fuck the whole division. I'll, f I'll fucking pump every kind of division. Why? Because I'm here to die or I'm here to win, bro. That's it. This is my money hand, you know? Like, this is my, like, this one puts people to sleep. Like, now I can't use it, you know? He doesn't know that, but it doesn't matter if he does or he doesn't. I'm just gonna go and get that win and get that belt and be a champion, you know? I've always been a champion, but now it's time to show everyone why I'm a fucking champion.